Okay, so here we are working through some basic math from physics. We start with the exponents. And we have some rules that can be applied in many of the examples, okay? So um, with this example one, for example, um, we have x to the four and times by x to the two, or times by x squared. Um, we, can, we can solve this, we can simplify this by, by adding up the power like four plus two and get x to the six. And when we bring everything here to power with some number, okay, uh, we can expand the powers into two and two dx when two and x multiply. For example, we get two, four, and x to the four. And with some more variables, okay, such as x to the five and y x, square to the four. Um, we, we work out the things in the bracket first. Okay, so I expand four to power with y, and I expand four to, to power by x square. So, so this will give you x power two times four. Okay, and then after that, you times it by x to the five, and then, x to the two times four, okay, will give you x to the eight, okay? And y to the four and times by x to the five. And finally, you simplify it into x to the five and x to the eight will give you, will give you x to the 13 and times by y to the four, okay? So we try some more examples on, on the fractions, okay? So if I, if I come up with um, minus 3x squared y to the 7, if I come up with this expression, okay, um, I'm just going to work out on the brackets first, okay? So I'm, I'm just leaving this 3x squared y to the 7 alone. And then I will, do, I will distribute the square into the bracket, okay? So that's going to be um, 3 squared and times by x to the three and to the two, and times by y square, okay? And <clears throat> so in the denominator, what we have is nine, and then x to the six is three times two, and times by y square, okay? And, and then we, we just, we're just gonna work out um, divisions, okay? So I, I divide the number first, so it's minus three and nine will be one over three, and x power by two. So the, so the one in the denominator, we, we get that power to, to be subtracted from two, so x to the two minus six, and then y, to the seven minus two. So that's um, what you get is minus one over three, x to the minus four, and y to the five. And in other form, for x to the minus four, we can, we can write them down in the terms of y to the five, and divided by three, and x to the minus four will become one over x to the four, okay? And then we work out some, some of the some of the power, the power with fraction like this, okay. So um, in this fashion, I I will just starting with um, expanding minus two over five into each term, okay. So start with um, thirty two for thirty two. I uh, I will do thirty two power two over five. And then x to the five will be power by minus two over five. Okay, let's work out this term first. Okay, so 32. 32 is actually two to the five or two power five. Okay, so that I, I have two power five and, and then um, power by minus two over five. And, and then, um, with minus two over five, okay, we, we times 
the power uh, with this power okay um, we get um, 2 to the minus 2 and also we do the same thing here for x and it will be x to the minus 2 so in the most simplified form okay you you can write this down in terms of 1 over 2 square divided by x square and it is 1 over 4 x square okay and then let's let's try to simplify a little bit more okay so 125 so 125 is actually 5 is 5 times 5 we get 25 and then times another 5 we get 125 so it's 5 to the 3 and power by minus 2 over 3 and you get minus 5 you get 5 to the minus 2 because you can times this 3 by minus 2 over 3 and you would come up with 1 over 25 okay and for this for the one with square root okay for example for 2 and the square root of x the square root of x can be viewed as x power by half okay because when when x power by one over one over something you you would come up with the n root of that thing okay so so with with the square root um x will be power by half okay and then we we power all of this by three over four x square and 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 then i will distribute the power so that you have two to the three and x over one half okay so you you have power and with power okay you you get exponent to times it you get exponent to multiply it okay so that finally you come up with eight x to the three over two okay so i'll let you do work on the rest of the examples okay and then we we move to the things about expanding the, the brackets okay so we try to simplify this expression for more so in which this one is straightforward we distribute 5 into x and 4 you get 5x over plus 20 and when you have uh, some when you have some some more terms okay such as x times by 2 plus x so i distribute x into 2 and distributes x into x so with x and 2 you get we get 2x and with x and x we get x square okay and when we come up with with um, more than one variable for example so with b and a uh, we i i distribute 5a into 2b so that will be 10 a b and i expand 5a into 3a and that will be minus 15 a square and for and for the number six um i can try distributing 4x into 2 and x so that i have 8x 8x um plus 4x square and minus 2x so try to simplify this for more we we have the one with highest order which is 4x square and the one with lower order which is 6x so 8 minus 2 is 6 And times by x finally okay so we let you do some other examples and then we go to another exercise for bracket expansion okay so when when you have two terms terms with two terms or you have more than one terms times together okay so to expand this um what i do is i will do the timing between the first and the first the first and the second and then the second and the first and the second with the second and and then we we just sum them all together okay so so with the first with the first one i i work on this i work on this guy and i get x square then i work on this guy and i get x then i work on this guy i get 2x then i work on the last guy we get 2 times 1 is 2 and we simplify this for more we we take 
uh, the one with the same order, okay? Uh, so that we have x squared and plus 2x squared plus 2. Sorry, it's, it should be 2 is 2 is um, x times 2x. Um, it should give you x plus 2x. It should give you 3x. Yeah, 3x plus 2. Okay. Let's do for us some more examples. Okay, so for number 5. I do 3x times 3x, we get 9x squared. I do 3x times minus 2 is minus 6x. And 2 times 3x, it is plus 6x. And it's 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. Okay. And, and then we combine the one with the same order, x and x, and we get 0. So finally, we should come up with 9x squared minus 4. And the last and the last one that we try is five uh, x. Is five x times x five x square. Then it is five x minus times minus five is minus twenty five x. Then minus one times x is minus x. Then finally minus one times minus five is five. Okay. And, and then we, we do polynomial, polynomial with high, highest order, which is two. And we do, we, then we do those first order, uh, minus 25 and minus one, you get minus 26 X and then plus five. Okay, so the one with three terms, okay, let's have some practice. So X square with X and X square with one, Okay, so, so that I get x cubed or x to the three and plus x squared. Okay, then we work on, we work out um, the second term with, with all the times with all the values here. Okay, yeah, so we do the second term 4x. So that, and the 4x times x plus one become 4x squared and plus 4x. And then finally, uh, minus three, times x plus one will be minus three x minus three. Then we simplify this expression by, by the order, okay? So we start with order three. With order three, we have just only x, x cubed. And then the one with um, second order, the one with second order, yes, this should be square. The one with second order, and the, sec the x square and plus, 4x square, I uh, should come up with minus 5x square. And the one with first order, 4x minus 3x, it is plus x. And the one with zero order, minus 3. Okay, and here you get the polynomials. Okay, then function, okay. So we, so here we are learning about the polynomial function. So the polynomial function is, is um, the function with some constants and then times by one variable. Um, suppose that the, that variable is x and, and the x has the order n, okay, in which you can write um, your, you can write your polynomial equation in this form. Okay, so, so for example, I, I have polynomial of order three I have 3x to the 3 plus 2x to the 2 plus um, like 5x to the 2 and plus 4x plus 1. Okay. Um, and this is our, our polynomial function. So we, we call this polynomial as the order 3. Okay. In, in which you, you have the constant called a3, you have constant called a2 a1 and a0 okay so so this function can be classified as a polynomial okay and then for linear function uh, what does it mean by linear function linear function is the polynomial with degree of one degree of one is the highest order is the highest exponent of x is one okay for example fx equals x you see x fx equals x plus two you still see x and fx is seven minus 
2x, okay, you still see um, 2x as the highest order term. Okay, and also with, with this guy, okay, it's also x, it also x power one, okay, as a, as the highest term, okay? Then from, <clears throat> from the linear function, it's quite straightforward to, to solve some easy equation. For example, you have, you, you see at number one, okay, we, so with number one, we can, we can do some equation solving, okay? So we move minus four to be plus four at the other side, and we move 12 times x to be divided in the other side. So that here you, you can get x of two, okay? And let's consider some a little a little harder a little harder one. So we get x on the left and x on the right, okay? So what we do with this is we we try to combine we try to combine the the same order together, okay? So I I, I remove the minus three x here to be plus three x, and I remove the minus one to the right hand side to be five. And that would be 10x equal to 5, and x will be 1 over 2. Okay, uh, let's try to do some a little harder stuff. Okay, so like number 8. Num for number 8, you, you have um, the both sides as a fraction, okay? So uh, what I would do is I, I would times this equation by 2 and time also times these equations by three, okay? So, so what you actually get um, from, from timing by two is on, on this side, on the right hand side, you have two times minus x plus five, and you have three times x minus five, okay? And, and then we, ex we try to expand the term and we get three x minus 15, and you get minus two x plus 10. And then I combine the term with x to all together. So I move minus 2x to be plus 2x. So it will be 3x plus 2x. And the other side will be 10. And from minus will be plus 15. And that will be 5x equals 25. And x would be equal to 5. Okay. So quadratic function, okay, so with linear function, linear function is the one with, um, is the polynomial with order one, okay, or the degree of one. Okay, I, I just, let's just call this by the degree. So this is degree three. Okay, and, and down here, the linear function is the degree one, okay. But for quadratic function, we come up with the functions with degree two, okay? So the term with highest order, okay? We have x squared here, we have x squared here, and we have x squared over here for each equation, okay? And how to solve uh, the equations with polynomial of degree two, we, we use this formula, okay? So for example, if I, if, if I say that, the term time the terms that times x square is a terms that times x is b and and the constant term is c and the right hand side is zero okay for example for number one uh, it is x square x square is actually one x square so a is equal to one for you for this case and b is equal to six for this case and then eight is c is equal to eight for this case okay and then i will just put in this formula, okay? So x from this equation will be minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac and divided by 2a, okay? So I substitute a, b, and c into this equation. So minus b will be minus six and plus minus. Six square is 36 and then minus 4ac, so a is here, C is here. So A, C is, A times C is eight. Yeah, and times by, and times by four uh, will give you eight times four is 32, 32. And then divided by two A, two A is, two A is actually two times one, which is two. And then uh, we work on this 
final answer. So I get minus six over two, which is minus three, and plus minus. Um, this one we get two because it's the square root of four. Okay, and and then it is minus plus minus two over two, which is minus three, and then plus minus one. So minus three and and plus minus one will give you two answers for for this equation. Okay. Well, for the first answer is we try the minus, so we get minus four, and we try the we try the plus, and that would be uh, minus two. Okay. So with with minus four and minus two, so if I if I say that this is um, this is the um, yeah what what I'm thinking about what num what letters what letters to be used. Okay, I. Okay, I, I, was just, I just say this is C1 and just say this is C2, okay? So, so, from, so from, this, um, from these values, okay? So I can, I can kind of expand and the polynomial in, into terms of X minus C1 and terms by X minus C2 uh, equal to zero because for this, equa for this equation, this in particular, the answer of the problem is C1 and C2. So, so that I can, I can say that this term is equal to this term, okay? So, so that I, I substitute my C1 as minus four, so I have um, X plus four, and I substitute C2 as minus two, so that I have X plus two equal to zero. So if you can, if you try to expand, um, these brackets again, okay, so we'll ju you just come up with x squared plus 4x and and then plus Sorry x squared plus 2x and then plus 4x and then plus 8 Okay, and and you just you just come up with x squared and plus this is the same order plus 6x and plus 8 Okay, so you're gonna get back uh, this the same equation Okay, with doing with doing the root finder, right? So here you we can try to apply this into into some other problems. Okay, so for example, number five. So for number five, um, you have the equation in this form, and we try to simplify this by by moving everything to the left hand side. So two x squared and minus x will will be plus x, and one will be minus one equal to zero okay and and these variables sorry this constant will become a and the, and the con and this constant will become b which is equals to one and and we have c equals to minus one so that we can we can work out for we can work out for x by using the formulas of b minus b plus minus square root of b square minus four a c and minus b will be minus, sorry, and, and we should also divide this by two. Okay, and minus b over two is minus one over two, and then plus minus b square is one, is one square, and minus, and minus four ac, okay? So with c equals minus one, and a equals to two, so minus four AC will actually be plus eight, square root of one plus eight, and over two, okay? So that is going to be uh, X equals to two numbers, which is minus, minus one, minus one over two, plus minus. So 1.8 is nine, one, one plus eight is nine, square root of nine is three. Okay, so we have three within, from, from this square root. So it's, it's plus minus three over two. Okay, so we get two answers. The first answer is we try the plus. Okay, when we try the plus, it is gonna be plus two over two, which is one, which is one. And another one would be minus, minus one over two, minus three over two. So that would be minus four over two. And minus four over two is actually um, minus two, so 
we get two answers, plus one and minus two. Okay, so again here in this example, they ask you to determine the value of x. But yeah, you can do this by, by the same method. Exponential and logarithm function. Okay, so, <clears throat> so for exponential and logarithm function, exponential and logarithm um, will, is actually the counterpart of, of the other. So exponential, we, we, talk about, we talk about the power, okay, in, in, in which um, the number that has been done the power is e or, or is equal to this number, okay? And we call this the Euler number or natural number. And A is any of the real number. Okay. So, so if we come up with Y equals E to the X, okay. So what we can what we can do in order to solve the equation is to take the logarithm for both sides. So if I take the logarithm for I take the logarithm for Y, so we get we have the log log Y, and I take the logarithm for E to the X, okay. So the log logarithm, the natural logarithm or ln of e to the x, okay, uh, in in the form in the formula is actually um, is actually x, okay. So so that you have the equation on the right hand side, and here are we have we have the the other properties for the logarithm function, okay. So for example, if if I write down the logarithm function, okay, so with x over here and this is a logarithm function the logarithm function is looking something like this okay and the logarithm of one okay is is actually zero or or it is at this point exactly at this point and then some some other important quality quantities oh sorry some other important formula is about uh, the log of x power n okay so so that this this power n, okay, so we remember that this power n can be bring down to times with log x. Okay. For example, we have the, the log of 9, something like that. The log of 9 is the log of 3 over 2, 3 power 2. Okay, and, and we, bring two, we bring the number 2 to the front, so we have 2 times ln three equals ln nine. Okay, and again we, we try to we try to solve um, some of some of the equations, solve some of the examples, okay? Um, so if I come across with with this thing, okay, so I do the logarithm of both sides, log x and log of e to the x is always x. Okay, and, and that would be the log six. So the final solution, the final answer is x equals to log six. Okay, and the other way, in the other way around, okay, so if, if we have um, log e to the x equals x, okay, so we switch to do exponential of log x. So exponential exponential of log x, okay, you you should also get get back the x. Okay. So that doesn't depend on the on the order much, right? So um, what I do with number four is I will take exponential for both sides. So I take exponential for the first side is e to the log x. And on the right hand side I take I take exponential of minus two. Okay, so, so e power by log x, we have x. And, and this, and the answer of this equation will be x equals e to the minus two, or you can say that it is one over e squared. Okay. And then this, this one should be a little bit, a little bit harder, okay. As we have, as we have um, 
something turns with something and we need to take the logarithm to solve this equation, okay? So then we, we take the logarithm of four times e to the two x. And the other, the other side would be the logarithm of seven. Okay, so I, <coughs> so um, from the identity, okay, so if you have log, logarithm of two numbers, a and b, and if, if you do the log, the log of a times b, you have log a plus log b. Okay, so this will be log four and plus log e to the two s equals log seven. Okay. Then um, we try to we try to we try everything so that um, the x can be on the la left hand side and the others can be on the right hand side. So I start with ln e to the two x and I move this term to the right hand side. So it's log log seven minus log four. Okay, and log seven minus log four. Okay, so we have log a minus log b equals to log of a over b. Okay, so that on the right hand side we have a log logarithm of seven over four, and the left hand side is log of e to the two x. Okay. So, so, the locker, so on the left hand side, the logarithm, let's work out the logarithm of e to the two x, the logarithm of something. So log and e, okay, can unofficially be canceled. Okay, so on the left hand side, we have log e to the two x uh, is two x. Okay, so on the left-hand side will be 2x equals ln or log, log natural of 7 over 4. And x will be half times by log 7 over 4. Okay, and some other things about Exponential. Okay, so we, we try to we try to work out number number nine right now. Okay. So <clears throat> in with this, um, we have three to the x, okay? So, <clears throat> so in order to, to, solve, um, to solve this equation using the logarithm function, okay? Uh, I'm, I am not going to, do, to use ln, okay? Which is uh, the logarithm of the base e. But here, with three as exponents, okay? We, <coughs> we are going to use the logarithm with base three instead. Okay. So so that's I will operate um this this function into this function into both of the sides. Okay. So I will do like um lock lock base three of eight. Okay. And equals to lock base three of three to the x, okay? So with this, um, we can cancel the log and the exponent, okay? And on the, right hand, and on the right hand side, okay, I move to the left, okay? We have x, and on the other side, we have um, log base three of eight. Okay. Or I would, I would say that it is the log base three of two, power three, okay, and it's three times by log base three of two, okay. 
and and then with this you can you can easily change the base of logarithm okay so so the logarithm of of two and with the base three okay can be rewritten in the form of ln or log natural of two and divided by the log natural of three so this is your answer for x okay so with linear equations okay um <clears throat> With linear equation and graph okay so you have the linear graph like this and this can be interpreted as the in, as the equation of y equals mx over c okay so what would be the c so the c would be the intercept of the y-axis so this point has the value y equal to c and then the slope of the graph okay it is it is the change in y or delta y divided by change in x or delta x. So we have m equals delta y over delta x like this. Okay. And, and we come up with the y equals mx plus c to represent this, this line. Okay. So to determine the slope and y-intercept for the linear equation, okay, so this will become straightforward, okay? So with comparing to y equals mx plus seven, we have the slope m equals two, and we have the y, y-intercept for c, sorry, this should be c, mx plus c. So c here should be seven, okay? But um, looking at some, some other forms of the equation, such as um, for question five, okay? So with this, I, what I do is I try to rearrange the equations to be the closest to the, to, the, to the desired form, okay? So like for number five, I move minus y to the left-hand side. So we have y and on, and I move 3x to the right-hand side, so have, I have minus 3x plus 12, okay? And I can say that min, minus 3 is m, and, I, and then I can say that um, 12 is c, right? And for some other equations, the ideas, the ideas are quite similar, okay? So I, uh, with me have been 2x plus 2y, um, plus one. So I try, I try to bring this, bring this to the left hand side as possible, and and I just need to bring this to the right hand side as um, as well as possible. Okay. So I start with two y, and then I move both two x to minus two x on the right hand side, and from plus one to minus one on the right hand side. But in order to get um, the equation in this form, okay, I, I will need to eliminate number two too. By divide, that, by divide the whole equation by two, so that I, I would have y and equals to minus x and minus one over two. So, so that from here, the slope is minus one, okay, and, and the y-intercept is uh, minus one half, okay? So with negative slope, okay? With negative slope, um, we, can, we can see that um, the thing, uh, the, the look of the graph will be like downhill, okay? So this is a case when M or slope is less than, is less than zero, but when slope is more than zero, you, you see the positive slope. And, and for slope equal to zero, you have the straight line um, along the horizontal axis, and and for the slope and for the vertical axis, the slope is undefined. It is undefined because if the slope is delta y uh, over delta x, okay, here delta x is zero because because um, we we have just only one we have just only one value of x in this graph. So uh, so that's um, m. Or the slope is undefined. 